Hey guys, it's me Chuck. Welcome to What's in the Box. Today we're going to unbox a sling bag. This is the sling bag right here. It's a Waterfly brand. I bought it on Amazon and I'll post all the details below after this video down in the description. So check it out where to buy it and little features that I have on here and also the link to my blog post for more details, more pictures and so on. So we're going to open this, it's in a bag, it's called Waterfly, enjoy your life. So waterfly.com. Right away, I've noticed that it says right here, Sinpaid or Sinpad, right below it in fine print says, everything can be put in. I'm not sure if this is the series of the bag and Waterfly is the main brand. I'm not quite sure, or maybe the seller I bought it from is um, giving replicas of the bags. I'm not quite sure, but I'll do further research and I'll let you guys know in my blog post. Uh, right away, the reason why I bought this bag was I needed a small bag for a music festival I'm going to attend in August. And a music festival with DJs and you're shoulder to shoulder with a lot of people. And I know a common, a common thing that happens to a lot of people, they buy these really cheap bags, those sling bags or drawstring bags, and people come along and they have these little tools on keys and they cut it, take their cell phone and wallet. Yeah, it's crappy. A lot of crazy people do that. So I did a little research on what is the most secure bag. So right now I'm not sure um, the different kind of bags that are out there in the market, but this one caught my attention reason why is the reinforced material. This is very thick, like try cutting through this thing. Um, the straps are really thick and there are additional features. So let's start with um, taking this, this right off. And right away there's a lot of uh, slack for the strap. It looks very strong. This is actually metal, not plastic, so it won't bend over time and just snap off you. Here's another, another metal section. Um, looking at this, there are two loops, I guess, to put this hook because you can loosen this and actually that was tightening it. So you can loosen this and switch sides. Unhook it, switch sides, depending if you're, um, or take this hook and hook it there depending if you're left-handed or right-handed. So I'll put that back, tighten it up. It looks like this when I put it on. It can look like this on your back. It can look like this on your front. Right away, if I were to use this, pretend this is on my front. I've read reviews about this. People complain about this metal attachment here. The metal thing, has to line up perfectly for it to be most effective. If it isn't, and just like that, it comes off easily. And the first compartment to this bag is right in here. You put tissue, bandana, something you really don't care too much if someone decided to go like this and take it out of your bag. Like, it's crappy, someone's trying to steal from you. Something that doesn't mean much to you, but my suggestion, put something that you don't care losing in here. Um, maybe a pack of gum. I don't know if gum is allowed at musical festivals. Um, then next, the next compartment is this one with the zipper. Oh crap, security feature. Okay, so here's a security feature. There's a little hook that you can tighten, similar to this one. It prevents you from opening the zipper if it's hooked on. Uh, you pull this open, unhooks, zipper opens. As I open it, there are compart compartments here where this one, you put light stuff and there are two little slots here where you can put pens, I believe. There's the main compartment, which is right there in here. And there's also another skinny compartment here to put something else. This one is very thin. I believe over time it will start wearing and tearing and rip. But there's also a pocket right there where you can put a little bit, oh, it's a little bit thicker. So you can put crazier stuff in there. So one compartment, another compartment, 
the main one and this little pouch thing with two pen holders and that's what's inside so I'll zip this back up and put the magnet together and I will hook this back on to the security feature it has here and tighten it up and that's awesome because anything important you can put it inside and lock it and you'll know if someone's messing with you going like this in your back like it's obvious right here there's a little hole and I believe that's for headphone jacks if you have an iPod inside um, run your cord through here plug it in listen to it so that's an awesome feature one more feature that they have is this little back pocket it has a zipper there's no hook to lock in the zipper but I believe you don't need one if it's pressed against your body like this either on your back or on your front so when it's pressed up on your body like this it's good because you can put a wallet in here you can put a cell phone in here um, I don't think you can put the Excel cell phones maybe a little smaller phone than that but you're, it fits a hand it uh, feels a little bit yeah, it's thick material here, front and back. You can lock it in. I prefer putting a wallet here so you don't get jacked or anything. So you close that up. Overall, looking good. I will test this out in August, which is, what, three weeks away? And yeah, that is my what's in the box on the Waterfly sling bag. So thank you for tuning in.